Hey, what's up? This is Jay Bat, and today I'm doing a review for Detective Comics issue 475. This was released in February of 1978, my birth year. <laughs> now, the, the title for the story is called the uh, The Laughing Fish. Now, first of all, I want to say that this this story had like excellent like artwork. I don't know what it was, you know, like the coloring for it, like the drawing of like the characters, whether it be like Batman or the Joker. They just did a very good job on the artwork. And uh, this is also uh, this was also adapted into like an animated episode of Batman the uh, animated series. And there are very like similar like scenes from the animated series that were exactly like this this comic tale, you know, such as like the look of the fish like fish sign at the beginning, you know. And plus, like, you know, like, scenes with the joke mentioned, like, uh, the colonel, <laughs> he to my, uh, like, uh, the colonel from KFC Chicken, like, he has his own, like, kinds of chicken, why can't I have my own kind of fish, you know, there was a reference like that about that in the, uh, the episode, the only thing about it, if I'm not mistaken, I think Harley Quinn was actually in the episode that was on the animated series, but she was not in this tale, you know, well, uh, the story opens with Batman, involved in romantic relations with a woman called Silver St. Cloud. Now this woman supposedly knows his secret identity but it's not really out in the open and apparently Batman was talking to her because he was looking for a dead shot. So eventually he leaves St. Cloud and patrols Gotham City and eventually come across these fishermen who have fishes with like Joker faces on them. So apparently the Joker has done something to the fishes of Gotham City and contaminate them, contaminate them basically and give them like the fishes like smiling faces and stuff. Because <laughs> this is also like on the, uh, the animated episode as well, you know. And it turns out eventually that the, the Joker fish are showing up all everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Now, eventually, the Joker tries to have his fish copyrighted, which I thought was kind of odd, you know. But I thought this was uh, pretty good, and it was told over, like, uh, it was actually, it continued until, like, the next issue. And Rupert Thurn, you know, he shows up in his tale as well, you know. But again, I thought this was, uh, it had, like, excellent, like, artwork. Oh, yeah, Commissioner Gordon is in this as well, too, you know. And I thought they good, uh, did a good job with him, you know. But, like, a lot of, like, references, like I say, like, in the Batman anime series was in this uh, this comic issue. Okay, so this is uh, J-Bat, and this is my review for Detective Comics issue 475, The Laughing Fish. <laughs>